the HTV uh, that is the um, pressurized logistics carrier where most of the five tons of cargo are stored. You can see uh, at about the mid-body section of the HTV uh, nestled inside the hull, that is the exposed pallet. That is the pallet of two science experiments that will be uh, removed, basically extracted from the hull of the HTV next Wednesday by Canadarm2 and handed off to the Japanese robotic arm, the uh, GEM RMS as it is known, on the uh, aft cone of the Kibo laboratory to be installed on Kibo's exposed science platform facility that was installed uh, during the STS-127 mission back in July. That pallet, once uh, its experiments are uh, removed from the pallet and installed on the exposed facility, the pallet will be reinstalled inside the hull of the HTV with uh, no further need for that pallet, the entire HTV vehicle uh, will be discarded and will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere after it is unberthed and released back into orbit on November 1st. And the arm is in motion now, heading towards what is called the ready-to-latch position. You can see the pedals open on the common berthing mechanism at the uh, earth-facing side of Harmony. HTV slowly but surely being lowered down to be perfectly aligned with the uh, berthing mechanism. The two uh, docking interfaces uh, will come into contact with one another, permitting a series of latches to engage, followed by the initiation of the bolting of the HTV in place. The International Space Station approaching the uh, south coast of New Zealand, beginning a southwest to northeasterly track that will carry uh, the, the vehicle and its newly arrived cargo ship up the Pacific Ocean, soon to cross the equator. Half a meter to go before we are, will initiate the ready to latch sequence.
The Canadarm2 is under the control of Canadian Space Agency astronaut Bob Thirsk. Nicole Stott uh, lending her assistance. Frank DeWinna monitoring HTV systems. Standing by for ready to latch indications. Latch is now engaging. Houston Station, stitch ground two for HTV install. Go down two. Yeah, we see ourselves uh, stopped at eight centimeters with two RTLs, RTL three and four. We see the same standby. This activity requires a very, very precise, a very meticulous alignment of the two uh, docking mechanisms. This view from the centerline berthing camera system that uh, Bob Thirsk is using at the uh, robotics workstation of the Destiny Laboratory is a visual cue. Station space to ground two for RTL. Go ahead, Nicole. And Aki, just uh, given what we're seeing here with the missing one and two, um, based on our cheat sheet, we would be doing a pitch up. Try and get those. Nicole, we concur, and uh, it's also in table one in page 11 of 1.210. And also, uh, you can do a, a little bit of uh, push in on the THC, or actually a push in. Okay, and copy, Aki. We'll uh, get a little pitch up, and uh, it's actually a pull out on the THC. Yeah, that's correct. This is a fine-tuning maneuver offered uh, by okay, Capcom Aki Hoshide to uh, Nicole Stott and Bob Thirsk at the uh, robotics workstation in Destiny. Essentially, uh, a very, very fine-tuning maneuver uh, to uh, pitch the HTV uh, just a bit and to push it in just a bit, another pulse on the transitional hand controller at the robotics workstation to engage the other two latches. All four latches now engaged. And Houston Station Space Ground 2 for HTV install. We see four good RTLs. And Houston copies and concurs. We see all four RTLs as well. Great job, Bob. With uh, all four latches having engaged, this is the first step in the uh, hard mating of the HTV to Harmony. Next stop, the commanding uh, for the bolts, four gangs of four bolts apiece, 16 bolts in all that will uh, be driven.